right, now that we've set up our destination and tested SkyDrive, let's go ahead and schedule a nightly job. So the first thing I want to do is set up an email confirmation so I know whether the job succeeds or fails. So I'm just going to type in my username or I guess my email address here. And I'll be sent an email whenever there's an issue. And then I want to schedule the job. I'm going to um, select the schedule this job checkbox and then click on the advanced uh, backup schedule option. And for now, I'm just going to uh, keep it as a full backup, keep it simple, have it every 24 hours and come down here and say that I want my full to be at 2 a.m. in the morning. And then I can say I want to run my scheduled job as a current user. So here I'm going to say um, set as current user it'll put in my username and password but if you'd like you could use like a service account from a domain or um, any other account that uh, is appropriate and then I'm going to save and close so what this has done is effectively set up a job to run to do a full backup of the database at 2 a.m. every evening I'm going to hit file save to save the job and it lets me save it out to the, to the computer and uh, now it's ready to go it wants to know what um, account to use for the task scheduler and so I can put in uh, the um, username and password that I had said before. So I guess I got that one wrong. There, I had the bad password. We're set to go. Now you may wonder where this, this job actually is, is controlled from. It's, it's not SQL agent. It's actually being done through uh, Windows services. So let me show you real quick here. I'm going to go out to Windows here and type in um, services. And do view local services here. And if I come down to SQL, what you're going to see here is a SQL backup and FTP service. And that is what is controlling those nightly jobs. All right. Now we've set it up so that our VentureWorks database is being backed up each evening at 2 a.m. to SkyDrive. Just wanted to point out that it's taking that database, which is 100 and around 195 megabytes, and scrunching it down to 35 megabytes on SkyDrive. So it's good compression. This has all been done with a free tool that you can get at SQL Backup and FTP. Please use the link uh, in the article. It makes it easy to get there and download and follow along. And if you have any questions, you know, reach out to me with comments in this blog. You can also direct message me on Twitter. My uh, Twitter ID is at SQLChris. It's K-R-I-S. And I hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.